Hey guys, welcome back to RK Tutors. In this video, we are going to walk through some light settings in V-Ray Next, different light fixtures that are available in the new V-Ray for SketchUp and uh, how you can actually work with them. So let's begin. So if you're not introduced to V-Ray Next yet, you will see there are different uh, options for the lights, rectangle light, sphere, spotlight, IES, Omni, dome and a mesh light so first let's just work on the scene we have nothing in the scene it's just this component of Stacy and if I render this it will give me this sort of a random bluish sort of background and nothing on the ground it's almost gray so let's set up a infinite plane the V-Ray infinite plane so if you see this option, the infinite plane, you can just add it to any point you want. I'm going to click on the origin point, hit escape now. So this is the V-Ray infinite plane. So if you render the scene now, you see this white as default is the V-Ray infinity plane. And on the background we have this sort of a sky as default. So let's change that. For that, I'm going to go to V-Ray, go to settings, then go to the environment and turn off this texture slot from here. So if I render this now, the background is black. Now let's set up a plain light. Click on rectangular light. I think it will be this big. That's good. So this arrow is actually the direction of the light. I'm going to click on it. Right click. Flip along blue axis. So the light is now facing downwards. So if you click on the reset editor. On the light, since the light was selected, it will show you this. It's named as rectangular light. You can double click on it to change the name or rather rename it. The intensity is 30. And if you click on the arrow, it will give you these uh, options or settings for this light. So intensity is 30. I'm gonna keep it 30. Color is white. And on the options, you can actually make it invisible. So let's turn it invisible leave the shadows on you can make a double sided light as you see in the preview let's not do that yet so just close this asset editor so if i just try to render a scene now okay let's also turn the shadows on and change it to the night time actually so if I render now, you have this very soothing sort of a gradient of an image when you render. Or you can simply just turn the sunlight off and render. It will give you the same render. So let's start adding some objects and working out with different light setups. So I'll make a box here. And also change it to a group. Let's apply a material on this. Go to Asset Editor. Go to Materials, that's the first option here. Click on the arrow. Go to Materials. I'm going for some, uh, some wooden material. So you have different sets of materials for different things. I'm going to go with wooden planks. So while having the object selected, right click on the material and click on apply to the selection. So now the material is applied. Go to the tray, materials and add it to actually add the proportions of this material. I'm gonna set the proportions to 1.50 meters looks good enough and if you just click on this arrow you 
can actually change settings for this material, some bump settings or anything. I'll leave it as default. So now we actually have this box where we just applied the wooden material. I'm going to create a rectangular light on the facade. This big is enough. Right click on it, flip along blue axis, move it closer to the actual box. This looks okay. Let's see the settings for this light. I'm going to change its intensity to 10 and the color to somewhere around yellow. So let's see how it actually looks. Okay. Go to lights, the rectangular light. Click on the arrow and turn it invisible so we don't see that plane. So if we render it now, only the light cast is visible, not the plane. That's okay. I also want to do another thing here, just go to settings and just set the frame size. So I'm going for 1280, 720 and I want the safe frames. So now this actually shows that this part, this area of the screen will actually be rendered. Let's also set a camera view go to view uh, first let me just change the field of view i'm going to change it to 60 and click on view animation and add scene we have this scene created now i'll just move this plane to somewhere around here and also resize this okay that's better let's create a rectangle for the reference click on scene and make a copy of this around here And what I'll do is I'll update this scene. So let's create a sphere light. Go to the sphere light, click on it, and I'll create a light around here. Move it somewhere around here. Change its height a little bit. Let's edit this light, just click on it. So this is the sphere light. I'm going to change its color to somewhere around red and intensity to maybe a hundred. I'll leave the units as default scalar. Now if you change the units that'll give you a different sort of a brightness or the intensity in the render. So just leave it as default and work out with the changing the intensity of, of the light not the units so if i render this now you see we have this light and the diffuse that you can see of the light there you can actually change the intensity if you want i'll leave it as as it is and also change the light to invisible so that's good also create another sphere light around here I think around here is fine go to V-Ray and change the intensity I'll change it to 600 
the color to maybe somewhere around green that's fine also make it invisible so let's see how it looks let's also add a mesh light into a scene maybe some lamps some wall lamps on this on this box so i'll just paste a lamp here align it with the box the surface okay that's good now this is in a group so I'll double click on it to go inside this group and this is the mesh that I want to convert into a light so this is a group you can just click on convert to mesh light so now we have a light of this mesh go to the asset editor and this is the mesh light that we created I'll rename it to wall lamp and change its color to somewhere around blue okay that's good and I'll change its intensity to maybe a, around a thousand go back to the scene and I'll copy this let's see how it looks so you see this mesh that we just converted into a light so that's pretty easy maybe I'll change the intensity of this green light later or maybe just move it So the more light actually spreads on the ground now also let's add some text go to the text tool all right archie tutors first the R key and text height around 0 0.50 place this right here complete the text click on place and let's place this font here align it with the other font so that looks cool so let's turn this font into a mesh light also just click on it and click on convert to mesh light go to V-Ray this is the mesh light for the font I'll name it to font 1 change the intensity to maybe a hundred and set the color to somewhere around yellow okay that's good do the same with the another text convert it into a mesh light here it is rename it to font 2 and another thing you can do is just right click on the color copy and paste so that makes it easier to actually have the same color so let's see how it looks so if you're converting the font into a mesh light it absolutely looks amazing specifically with the good texture on the back and what I'll do I'll actually change the bump of this texture to have to basically make it look even better so let's do that click on this and we have this wooden planks material on this go to the material go to the bump and maybe I'll change it to 0.60 we have more depth in this color let's add another mesh light on this fall for this I have this component I'm going to paste it right on the wall it 
like this convert to mesh light and this is that component I'll name it spike change the intensity to 100 and copy paste the color of the light from the font let's add a rectangular light over the of the TC component from here so let's create that rectangular light move this upward I'll place it front of this component change direction just flip the light so that looks good here so let's change the color of this I'll keep it around yellow that looks okay and intensity to 600 now to actually duplicate any light you just have to copy this light from the move tool and I'll move it around here go to the scene see where it is So that looks fine let's see how it looks okay it looks really good now let's for the last let's change the render settings for this scene also make this light invisible so go to the render settings I'll keep the quality to medium you can also turn it uh, on high turn the denoiser on so it's using V-Ray denoiser and change the image width or height I'll keep it to that only and on the noise limit I'll change it to 0 0.02 and I'll change the from light cache Southern brute force and light cache that's good light cache I'll change the subdivisions to 1200 and sample size to 0 0.02 and I'll leave everything else as it is and click on render so this way you can actually work out the best settings for the V-Ray lights in SketchUp specifically the V-Ray next lights you can adjust those lights, the intensity uh, and the color according to your scene, according to where you place them and you can change the environment around. Also, you can manipulate different colors. So if you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and leave the comment below if there's any questions that you have or want to ask us. We will make sure that we reply to any of your questions. You can also walk through our uh, different playlists for SketchUp for 3ds Max to learn more about V-Ray rendering. Thanks for watching.